Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I am Yamini Singh and today's video is about a very important algae that is chlorella. I have also recorded videos on uh, basic introduction of algae about wall box, chlamydomonas. You can watch them on my channel. Okay, so now let's start. Chlorella belongs to the class Chlorophyce, order Chlorococcales and the family is your Chloriaceae and now the genus is your Chlorella. Okay, so Chlorella is basically a unicellular, uninucleate, non-motile algae. Okay, its cell wall is made up of cellulose and it consists of a cup shaped chloroplast without pyrenoid. Okay, now there are certain species of this chlorella which are parasitic as well as symbiotic in nature. So, talking about chlorella parasitica, it is a parasitic chlorella which grows on spongula. Talking about chlorella lichenia, it is an algal symbiotic partner of a lichen. Okay, now talking about the shape of the cell, so uh, you can see here, this is how the cells look like. It is spherical to broadly ellipsoidal in shape. Okay, and you can see that the chloroplast occupies the major part of the cell. You can see here, this complete area is your chloroplast. Okay, in the center you have this nucleus. And then this is your cell wall. This cell wall was made up of cellulose as already told. Right? And chloroplast is your cup shaped. Again as you can see. Okay? Now we will talk about the reproduction. So talking about the reproduction. It's asexual reproduction only. Okay, and this is also by your autospores, which are also called as your aplanospores. Uh, here you can see these are your autospores. Now, what happens in this process is that during the formation of the autospores, this cell it grows in size, right? First of all, it grows in size, and then its content begin to divide. Okay. And it divides. See, you can see here, these are your divided content. Okay, it is 4, then it becomes 16, up to 16 in number they divide. Right, which are your daughter protoplasts. Right, now these division can occur in light as well as in dark. Okay, now, so as you can see here, the aplanospores or the autospores that are formed in the dark are called dark nascent cells. Okay. And which occurs in... Now these dark nascent cells give rise to dark active cells later on which are your active photosynthetic uninucleate cells. Okay. This diagram here shows the liberation of the autospores from the parent cell. See, they then liberate and then further they grow into a complete organism. Now talking about the economic importance. So the economic importance of chlorella is that it consists of 50% protein. Thus, it is a good source and a rich source of protein. It also yields antibiotic chlorellin. Okay, it is also a very favorite material for various biochemical processes. It acts as an aerating agent. What is aerating agent? Which removes the carbon dioxide and thus it is used for sewage treatment plant as well. Okay, it acts as an air purifier in submarines and space vehicles. So these are the economic importance of chlorella. This is how your chlorella looks like. These are the autospores. This is the process of how autospores are liberated out. So, that's all for chlorella. And the next video, we will talk about coleochete. Thank you for watching.